The fire alarm call came in to the Campbell County 911 Center at 12.40 a.m. on Sunday. Wynn's school was on fire. Daniel Lawson, assistant chief for the Campbell County Rural Fire Service, tells WLAF that upwards of 25 firefighters and five units answered the call in 20 degree weather. Lawson says crews laid down more than 700 feet of hose to battle the fire at the back of Wynn School. He explains that the fire was in a storage room between two kindergarten classes and that the walls made the difference helping to contain the fire to that part of the school. Campbell County Schools Director of Safety, Johnny Bruce, calls it more than a mess than anything else describing the main damage as smoke and water to the two classrooms and storage room. He says he was relieved when he arrived on the scene Sunday morning to find that the fire crews had the fire under control and that no one was injured. Bruce notes that the school's fire alarm system worked perfectly in detecting the fire and notifying the 911 center. It's believed the fire started at a wall-mounted heating and air conditioning unit, but Bruce says the state fire marshal will be in to assess the damage on Wednesday and determine an exact cause. Bruce goes on to say that when school has enough empty classrooms to accommodate the two kindergarten classes when school starts back on Friday. The White Oak Volunteer Fire Department was assisted by Lawson and the Campbell County Rural Fire Service along with the Jellicoe Rescue Squad. His given name was James Barclay Wright, but everyone knew him as J.B. The well-liked Wright died at La Follette Health and Rehab Center yesterday morning. Wright and his family came to La Follette nearly 40 years ago when he was named administrator of the then La Follette Community Hospital, a position Wright held for more than 25 years. Wright's tenure as administrator is the longest in the history of the La Follette Hospital. J.B. Wright was 81 years old. It's been a week since the car wreck that claimed three lives on Christmas Eve. The survivors continue improving. As we told you last week, the youngest person involved five-year-old Alexandria Conley was released from UT Medical Center at Knoxville. WLAF News has now learned that Josh Ivey left UT Medical Center and is back home in Caraville, while Philip Lee is out in a room and listed in stable condition at UT Medical Center. The two 17-year-old boys and the five-year-old girl survived the, a near head-on collision that took the lives of 59-year-old Philip Mefford and his 63-year-old wife Brenda Mefford, both of Caraval, along with 19-year-old Josh Peebley of La Folly. Reports from the Tennessee Highway Patrol are that Peebley's pickup truck crossed the center line on General Carl Steiner Highway east of La Folly and nearly collided head-on with the car Philip Mefford was driving westbound just before dusk on December 24th. Services for the Meffords were held last week while a celebration of life for Peebley takes place tonight. And we cannot leave you this evening without wishing you a safe and enjoyable night and a very happy new year. It's been our pleasure coming into your homes each evening this past year and these past 21 years and all. And we thank you very much. Have a great day. Back with a press release in just a moment. And it looks like 28 people were booked into the Campbell County Jail during the past weekend. 
Jeffrey Scott Braden, 35, of Bow Mountain in Lake City, for theft of property under $500, resisting a stop-frisk halt search order, destruction of evidence, and possession of drug paraphernalia. 46-year-old Bobby Ray Branham of Kidwell Lane in Jacksboro entered the jail to serve court-imposed time. Nikita Louise Brown, age 20, of Lowe's Lane in Jacksboro for violation of probation. 71-year-old Ralph Bird of Shawnee Drive in Jacksboro for theft of property under $500. Brandon R. Carroll, 24, of Demery Road, La Follette for violation of probation. 25-year-old William Paul Elliott of Clear Lake Drive in Jacksboro for theft of property between $500 and $999. 48-year-old Donnie Ellis of Flat Hollow Marina Road in Speedwell for violation of probation. Eric Scott England, 31, of Brook Place Lane, La Follette, on two KPS bench warrants. 34-year-old Michael A. Faust, listed as homeless in La Follette on a KPS bench warrant. Timothy Allen Garland, 20 years old from London, Kentucky, for underage DUI, violation of the light law, driving left of the center line, violation of the litter law, violation of the seat belt law, and underage consumption of alcohol, as well as violation of the driver's license law. 24-year-old Daniel Dwayne Hamblin of West Forest Street, La Follette, for violation of probation. Joseph Landon Harris, 20, of Moorhead, Kentucky, for DUI and underage consumption of alcohol. 24-year-old Danielle Brooke Heron of Benson Hollow Lane in Jacksboro on two KPS bench warrants. Tashina Jewel Hill, 24, of Back Valley Road, La Follette, for theft of property between $500 and $999. 21-year-old Tyler Jeffrey Holman of White Oak Road in Duff for violation of probation. Michael Robert Howerton, 32, of Knoxville, for driving while revoked and violation of the Tennessee financial law. Darrell Wayne Kennedy, 48, of West Forest Street, La Follette, for driving while revoked, violation of the Tennessee financial law, and on a KPS bench warrant. 28-year-old Erica Renee Kidd of Pinecrest Road in Jacksboro, on a KPS bench warrant. Catherine Lee McClellan, 22, of Masonic Drive in Charlotte, North Carolina, for domestic violence, by assault. Lindsay Cheyenne Norris, age 20 of Jacksboro, for violation of the drug court rules and regulations. Azalee Nicole O'Hara, age 20 of Jellicoe, was picked up on a hold for another agency. 25-year-old Cody Matthew Patterson of Springs Lane, La Follette, for violation of probation. Tara Daniel Rayner, 21, of Carview Lane and Speedwell for obtaining a prescription by fraud and violation of the registration law. 22-year-old Tyler A. Richardson of Pioneer for aggravated assault by domestic violence. Austin Colby Roberts, 18, of Elk Fork Road and Pioneer for domestic assault. Robert Francis Sosiski, age 45, of South 8th Street, La Follette, for theft of property between $1,000 and $9,999, and vandalism. 44-year-old Willard Dwayne Young, of Back Valley Road, La Follette, for domestic assault. And last today, Roger Lyndon Waldrup, 41, of South 8th Street, La Follette, for theft of property between $1,000 and $9,999. And that's a look at the news and the press release. Thank you for joining us. Have a great new year. See you tomorrow. We sing happy birthday to you. And may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday.
Hey, Big Josh with you on this New Year's Eve doing our birthday and anniversary club for you. And they're brought to you by WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. I want to tell you about the birthdays and anniversaries. If you get your name on our list, and we have a drawing each Friday, and if your name is drawn, you could win a birthday or an anniversary dinner for two from WLAF and Eastside Pizza. Okay, let's get set here. And looking at uh, yesterday, our birthdays, Lindsay Marie Johnson turned 14 years old yesterday. Happy birthday, Lindsay. And Rosalie Heatherly had a birthday yesterday. Happy birthday to you, Rosa. And on Saturday, Teresa Ivey turned 37 years old. Happy birthday to Teresa. And Louise Powers celebrated on Saturday. Now, from the 3rd of December, Lona Bolton had a birthday. Happy birthday, Lona, belated. And on the 6th, little Paul Rutherford had a birthday. Happy birthday to you, little Paul. We hope you had a great one. And on the 23rd, Paul Henry Rutherford celebrated. Happy birthday to you, Paul Henry. We hope everybody's day was great. And if you're celebrating today, like we said, we want you to have a good day too on your birthday. And on our anniversaries, I have to mention to you that Lester and Frankie Green celebrating number 15 today. Happy anniversary to you, Frankie and Lester. We hope everybody's day is super. Hey, I got to get out here. I've run out of, I've talked myself out of time. See you tomorrow. Okay.